Hello, my name is Thibaut and welcome to my second channel. Today we're doing yet again another no script video, which is basically just me riffing about nothing. A little solo podcast, if you will. Sounds pretentious? It is. Uh, and I got oh, and I got donuts, because this is also like my lunchtime. Look at this one. Caramel. Oh, there's caramel inside. Oh, that's too much, bro. So, YouTube. So on stream, me and this uh, viewer just got into talking about YouTube and stuff. And of course, as always, the subject always goes to my views over on YouTube. My main channel, that is. Because while I have a decent amount of subscribers or even like followers on Twitch, you know, it's... People always like mention like, what's what's going on here? You know, what's, what's, what's the low views? And here's the thing people uh, gotta understand is that I right now, I'm making the content that I want to make. Does it suck that it doesn't get many views? Yeah, but in the end, I'm doing what I want to do and I'm having fun doing so. And that got us into this, you know, like whole new YouTube talk. And this is where I want to hear about you, how you feel about this. Because obviously nowadays YouTube is a vastly different creature than it was, let's say, 10, 20 years ago. Is it 20 years old? I think it's 20 years old. Back then when I used to watch fucking funny fail compilations and cat videos. The 9 gag quartets. And of course, PewDiePie. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but like my biggest inspiration, like the fucking the idol, the end goal, the, you know, the messiah, the everything, uh, has always been PewDiePie. Seeing somebody who doesn't speak natively English and gain the success that he had by just chilling, like playing video games and going crazy, it's like, oh my god, it's like, it looks like so much fun. This is what I want to do. But we are not 2010 anymore. No, YouTube has changed. Capitalism has seeped in. Yeah, if you want to get big on YouTube nowadays, it's, uh, you, you gotta play the game. And I'm just, I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, after PewDiePie, who is like the one other, like, YouTuber that actually, like, made it big onto that level of PewDiePie's fame? Mr. Beast. Now, what does Mr. Beast do but to, like, play the, like, the game to the max. There was this, like, little statement of Jacksepticeye where he said, like, Mr. Beast ruined YouTube. Which, of course, later on he admitted wasn't really well worded. But it does show you how much YouTube has changed compared to, you know, those fucking screaming at horror games era. So lately I've been finding myself kinda, I, I don't wanna say sad, but, like, thinking this over. Are the glory days of just somebody having fun with a game or, you know, IRL and just filming it those over? Like, do you have to play, do you have to make the perfect thumbnails? The perfect, like, the intro to, like, just catch you, overreact, fast editing, just, like, cater your whole personality towards, like, just entertaining these, like, ADHD-filled kids. Let's take another example. For example, Jinxie. Jinxie just, I think, hits, like, highest sub count. Like, you know, he came kind of out of nowhere and just became the highest subbed um, channel. But have you seen his streams? This guy is just insane energy. It's kind of like Tyler 1, but, like, you know, <laughs> back when he was younger. Just this insane energy for, like, mm, 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 like a couple of hours. And he logs off, right? He was going to do a 24-hour stream, but after five hours, he just, like, literally just stopped it. Because obviously, you cannot keep that up for, like, more than... Like, he knows if he streams longer, he's gonna break the illusion of, like, you know, the, the personality. And I'm not in no way hitting on Jinxie. I think he's incredibly funny. But it just shows you to what lengths you have to go to nowadays to get, like, you know, any kind of spot in the fucking 1%. But of course, these are ramblings of me and, like, one other viewer in my chat. So I'm very, very curious how other people think about this. Because I think we can all agree that YouTube has changed. But like, do you think it's for the better, for the worse? Like, is it harder now for people to get something going? Because the fact is that the market is very, very saturated at this, at this point. I mean, let's not ignore the fact that the reason PewDiePie got as big as it is, is because he was the first one to ever do it. Finding a niche nowadays that nobody has ever done is nigh impossible. Mr. Beast did it by fucking starving himself and literally like trying to hallucinate coming up with ideas. This is true. And look what happened. In a span of like what, a couple of years, like what, two, two years, boom, there's like a million Mr. Beast clones. All trying to iterate on the formula. Did I finish my thought earlier of like asking you what you think in the comments? Because like, that's what I want to know. I think I did. Like, per usual, these no script videos, you know, I'm, I'm very bad at like keeping a train of thought in my head. I'm just too busy thinking about speaking English and looking at the camera, like not fucking cringing. <laughs> and we haven't even mentioned streaming yet, which I think is even harder to, uh, to like, grow without like collabs or something. Because at least on YouTube, there's a chance that there, there is it, you know, it's ridiculously small, but there is a chance that, like your video just gets recommended and ke like get gains traction, gains tempo in the algorithm. Good thumbnail, you know, everything just like falls together and you know, you can get discovered. If you just stream on Twitch, no way. I don't think I'm qualified to give out advice seeing, you know, where I'm at. But the one thing I can say is don't just stream. Streaming in front of like zero viewers is the worst. No matter the hours you put in, no matter the energy you put in, you are never, never 
gonna get just picked up by just streaming. Gotta do YouTube, gotta do TikTok, gotta do, like, Twitter, like, you know, play that game. That's as far as I'm willing to go. But I don't think you'll ever see me doing, uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> you know, that's just not gonna happen. I just skipped your mom last night. So yeah, do you think there's hope for people like me who idolize stuff like PewDiePie and Markiplier? Or do you think the era is truly over and it's, you know, move over, old man, new kids coming through?